Hi ladies, this is Dodie, and I've got a question about a, one of these dolls. To begin with, these are Nancy Ann dolls. Nancy Ann Abbott in 1936 started making little dolls. This is one of the smallest I have. She's made out of bisque, <clears throat> which means that she happens to be a china doll, but she is so tiny that you can barely see her. But she has movable hands and legs. Now her head doesn't move because she is so tiny. She is four inches tall. As you can see. And I believe that this is Goldilocks because she comes with a bear that's almost as big as she is. And her own little stand. Whoops. Sorry about that. Now Nancy Ann Abbott made these dolls from 1936 until 1964 when she died. After she got out of the little bisque dolls, she went into plastics. And you can see that they started off. I know this looks really bad, but these are open and closed eyed dolls. See, they were always, well, most of the time, they were jointed. And they were hugely popular during that time frame because they were absolutely gorgeously dressed. As you can see, these little dresses are incredibly detailed. And they range from the little four inch clear up average to about six inches tall. This is a Jenny doll. And you can see that she's eight inches, so they were a very popular eh, pocket doll. They were called storybook dolls because they were dressed as our little tiny <clears throat> little um, Goldilocks. The um, Little Red Riding Hood. This is Curly Locks, I believe, in the back. And I don't really know who this is. But you can see they were all beautifully dressed. Now, in the 50s, pardon me, the dolls got a little bit bigger and she came out with one particular doll that I'm fascinated with and this is Miss Nancy Ann
and you can see that she's obviously quite a bit bigger than this doll. Miss Nancy Ann, and how do I know that? Because, like everybody keeps telling you, look on the back. Let's see if I can get that in there. And I don't know if you can read that. But it does say Miss Nancy Ann on the back of the head. And you can see she's so old that the glue in her rubber band has melted into the hair. But she can't, she was designed to be a competitor to the Miss Revlon and the Miss Tony dolls. She comes with little pearl earrings. And for those of you that haven't heard of it, this is Green Ear. Obviously, they weren't expecting the doll to last that long. It was a play doll. And she's 10 inches tall. To, to give you an idea we throw in everything around here this is a basic Barbie and you can see how much different in size they are So anyway, Miss Nancy Ann was designed to be a fashion doll, and she came out in 1956, so that was three years before Barbie. Barbie came out in 59 simply to be a competitor to one of these dolls. You can see she has high-heeled feet, a twist and turn, waist, and articulation. So, she could be posed. Those feet are a little bit large, though, for the time. In 1956, you had little tiny feet. Anyway, she was to be dressed, and I was fortunate to get several dresses when I got the shipment, because this lady loved to crochet, and this was a crocheted dress that was designed to fit the Miss Nancy Ann. But the question that I have... is who is this whoops she's nine inches tall the interesting thing about her is that she's a walker. You can hear it. Watch her feet. They go back and forth. And her head turns. So depending on when she was made just like this little doll from a different company also has the walking mechanism you can see the head turn slightly 
as you walk the feet. <clears throat> so who is this little person? She was dressed in a dress me type of ribbon. And it's all stapled on, although I have no clue why they had the little, looks like a little plastic piece of uh, linen. You can see in there the walker, me walker mechanism. You could sit your doll down if you had a walker. She has blue eyes. And black hair. It is coal black. What there is of it. It's obviously been through the mill. But there are no marks at all on her. Which is, uh, which I think is a little unusual. The ribbons were stapled in, as you can see. But she has a little toddler body. And what I need to know is who is she? I would think I thought at first she was Muffy, but Muffy. is obviously smaller than this doll. So is this just a uh, one-off or is it a uh, early prototype of a Debbie? Or what is it? That's the entire question about what this particular little doll is. Because like I said, she is, whoops, she is much smaller, much taller than the Jenny. But I don't think a, a typical dress me doll would be a walker like that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And um, I'd like you to do all the stuffs, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.